In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can factor a perfect square trinomial. To set this up, though, let's recall the formula for multiplying out a perfect square trinomial. When multiplying a perfect square trinomial, we multiply by squaring the first to get a squared, and then we take the product a times b twice, a b and a b is plus 2 a b, and then we square the last number, b squared. I want to consider what would happen if we use the ac method to try and factor this back to the original problem. The ac method takes 1 times 1, which is 1, and adds to the middle number 2. There's only one way to multiply to 1, which is 1 times 1, but what's interesting about this is notice the pair of numbers that we selected, 1 and 1, match. When those pair of numbers match, that's going to tell us that our problem's gonna factor to something squared. Let's take a look at how this works in a real problem. In this first problem, we're factoring x squared minus 6x plus 9. If we didn't know any better, we would start using the ac method, multiplying to 1 times 9, or 9, and adding to negative 6. The pair of numbers that makes this work are negative 3 and negative 3. But what's interesting there is that gives us a match. Because they match, we stop everything else and say this is gonna factor to something squared. Nice little trick to help us factor is we know the first and last terms came from squaring the first and last terms. The opposite of squaring is taking the square root. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 9 is 3. To get the sign in the middle, we look at the middle of our expression, and we find this factors to x minus 3 squared. Let's try another problem. In this next problem, 4x squared plus 20xy plus 25y squared, we're again trying to factor using the best method possible. Buy me some space, and we'll use the ac method. 4 times 25 is 100. We want to multiply to 100 and add to the middle number 20. Clearly, this is 10 and 10, but what's interesting to us is that those numbers match. When we have a match, we stop everything and say it's something squared. Taking the square root of 4x squared, we get 2x. The sign from the middle is plus, and the square root of the last term is 5y, and we factored our perfect square. As we're factoring our trinomials, once we see that matching pair of numbers, we stop everything else and factor it to a perfect square.